Hello and welcome to Tatooine. I just arrived here after quite a long journey from Susa. You can see behind me the market. I'm on one of the rooftops, which is part of my hotel where I'm staying here in the center. After walking for about 15 minutes, I'm now on the edge of town. It's a lot quieter around here. Some cars still passing on the road. It's a very different Tunisia than the one in Susa and Tunis, that's for sure. The land is much drier, as you can imagine. The further south you go, a bit like Algeria. The country's landscape changes from the green northern strip to arid and dry. Parlez français? I'm good. Parlez anglais? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Local kids of the town interested to see me. I've now arrived. Pardon the noise of the guy doing a little bit of construction work just beside the mosque here. You can see what the surrounding area looks like and the sun disappearing behind the hilltop there. Mosque and interested young Tunisian children. Here we are. I've made it to Kassam Gub and you can see from the top here views of all the residential areas around distant desert valley hilltops. Looks similar to Gardea in Algeria, the Emzab Valley, the mosque down below there and of course the sunset during golden hour. Let's take a look inside. The first time I've seen this kind of architecture before, 15th century, although a lot of it has had the wear and tear over time, I've heard there are much better preserved casaws. This casar is a fortified granary and you have all these different windows, I suppose you can call them. I'm sure there used to be windows, which is really interesting. On first impressions, it is certainly not a touristy place. I'm the only person in here. There's a fair bit of rubbish around, unfortunately. And I wouldn't say it's as well preserved as it could be. You know, Tunisia is very good at preserving a lot of places in its country. They take care of their history. Maybe this one is the first time I've sort of seen things like just here, for example, a cigarette packet um, inside this window. It's on the outskirts of a town which isn't actually visited by many tourists, surprisingly enough. I thought Tatooine was maybe a touristy place. The town doesn't give me that impression, neither does this place. There are some others around Tatooine in this area of Tunisia, which probably have a lot more visitors who come on packages and leave off buses. Independent travel I think is slightly more lacking due to the difficulty to reach this region, like me today. I took two luages from Susa. It's not really a common thing to do. So let's head inside this narrow entrance a little bit of climbing required to reach the top here but completely worth it for the views of the surrounding village or town, the golden colors on the top of the hilltops over there. You may be familiar with Tatooine. If you've ever seen Star Wars, it's the name of the planet where Luke Skywalker was brought up. A New Hope, very famous film, came out in the 80s. Tatooine here in Tunisia was the inspiration for George Lucas's planet Tatooine. 
So really interesting, that's why I personally wanted to come as I was a massive Star Wars fan when I was younger. And a lot of the buildings around this area were what gave the director, George Lucas, the inspiration for many of his settlements in the film. So as you can see behind me, I've now left the Kasai. You can get an idea of its exterior wall just there. Many of the scenes of A New Hope, the Star Wars film, were actually filmed at other locations in Tunisia. It was just the inspiration of the name and a few scenes that were filmed here in Tatooine. Tomorrow though, I'm heading to a village called Shanini and it's got some really spectacular places I'll be staying in another hotel there and continuing this video as it kind of covers the broader area of Tatooine as it's so small and just nearby. Welcome back. I'm now here in Shanini, or Shanini, however you pronounce it, which is a settlement around a 20 minute drive from Tatooine, where I was yesterday. It's now late afternoon once again. The sun is setting in the distance. And I just arrived, had a shower and had some lunch. And I'm here in my hotel in the village which is absolutely spectacular. I'm gonna show you my room first before I show you the views in front of my eyes in this direction. This is Kenza Hotel. I think the only one in town. This is my room here in the traditional style. There are multiple beds. But of course, I went for the best one in this beautiful, cozy retreat of a room. The craziest part, I might be one of the very few people staying in this hotel, one of the very few tourists in the village of Chinini today, here in November. And as such, I got a room for just £15, a single basic room, which I originally went to and I checked in and then after 10 or 15 or so minutes the guy who owns the place said to me let me upgrade you let me take you to a better room there's a shower built in I didn't show you the bathroom is just there it's not that exciting though and you'll get a double bed you'll get more space you'll have a better view and I said oh what's the extra charge and he said no extra charge so I've got all of this and an ensuite plus the view I'm going to show you in just a second for £15 tonight. One of the best deals I've ever got on my travels, I would say. So just a five second walk away from my room and I have an amazing view of the valley which Chinini sits in. I'm gonna head along the top to the white mosque which you see in the distance. I'm squinting slightly because the sun is in my eyes. I might check out some of the architecture over here too. And right at the very bottom is where my Luage from Tatooine arrived from earlier today. I had to walk up <laughs> all the way with both my bags on two here which was quite strenuous but completely worth it now that I'm relaxed and I freshened up so let's go explore
the village is small enough that you can hear pretty much everyone's voice. Some men talking by this cafe near the mosque and I can hear them chatting away and a cockerel from the other side <laughs> echoes around the valley as well. Temperature is perfect, it's around 20 degrees, there's a cool breeze. For an Englishman, it's very comfortable. here some local people wearing traditional clothes as well beside the mosque here we have another view wow out over the surrounding landscape the plains you can see the edge of the valley here once again we can see the moon the sky is very clear today as it was yesterday and what a view now i didn't mention this in any of my previous videos but you'll find desert rose pretty much all over tunisia in most markets you'll find it in susa kairouan now here, I'm sure they have it in other places like Doos, probably in Tunis as well, you can get it. But I don't recommend buying it if you're a tourist because it's only sort of encouraging the more plundering of the environment, which is what the world doesn't really need. I know they're really beautiful, but I just worry that it's not a sustainable practice. Maybe if someone knows it is, you can let me know in the comments below, but otherwise, I would say perhaps keep your money in your pocket and we need to keep the environment how it is instead of always using it for commercial reasons. I can see my hotel room somewhere over here and the view of the village from the other side a different perspective that valley I was overlooking a moment ago just over that way without question this is one of the most epic and unique places I've been to I knew it was gonna be great of course I saw some pictures but sometimes when you explore during sunset, it just wows you that little bit more. I'm sure it's come through quite well in the few clips that I've taken, but imagine being here in person. There really is something special about Chunini here. And let me know if you never heard of it in the comments below. I certainly never heard of it until I Googled things to do in and around Tatooine. valley behind me clear skies good weather while the rest of my friends and family probably freezing back in the UK affordable hotels decent and inexpensive food friendly people this country has a lot to offer
it looks like no one lives around this area anymore. They all live in other parts of the town. The door is just simply too small, <laughs> I think, for anyone to be living in it in the 21st century. But you can imagine this was an old street of some sort. <laughs> Hey, so I'm now back here in my hotel room, my cave, <laughs> and my plan is to get an early rest, an early night, as I want to wake up for the sunrise tomorrow morning, which will come out above the plains that I was looking towards from the mosque. And if you remember, the sun set in the other direction, behind the valley, on the other side of the village. So... Hopefully that'll be good and a nice way to finish off this video. Good morning, welcome back. I've trekked yet again to the top of the town here as the sun rises. I've got a perfect view of the town and a perfect view of the distant scenery. So let's soak it in. sunrise totally worth getting up at this time for it you can see the sleepy town behind me for one last time i'm going to end the tatooine vlog here definitely combine chinini into your trip leave a comment let me know your thoughts would you visit chinini peace